Licorice root. Be careful how you use it. Hi, I'm Dr. James Machino. You know, licorice is a shrub that originated in the Mediterranean and the Middle East area of the world. And the root and the rhizome are used medicinally because they contain various active constituents. And what do these active constituents do? Well, they act in the body as anti-inflammatories. And they act as sort of phytoestrogens, plant-based estrogen look-alike compounds, if you will. And they also have antioxidant properties. So over the years, clinical studies have shown that their licorice root supplementation has been useful in the management of premenstrual syndrome, the management of menopausal symptoms, uh, with liver inflammatory conditions, and also because it has an effect on suppressing the release of cortisol from the, the adrenal glands, it's been used to, as a, to decrease the effect of stress on the body. So licorice is known as what's called an adaptogen. So when you're under stress, you don't pump out as much cortisol, if you will. The problem with licorice root is that it contains glyceratinic acid, which, which raises blood pressure by acting a lot like the hormone aldosterone. So it leads to high blood pressure, bloating problem, sodium retention. So it can actually be a dangerous herb to use for that reason. So I don't really like people using licorice root. However, there are topical uh, preparations of licorice that can be put on the skin to treat eczema and psoriasis and for skin inflammatory conditions. I have no problem with that. Also, there are tablets that you can get that have the glyceratinic acid removed. These are called DGL tablets. And when you chew them using the right dose, uh, it helps to heal uh, stomach ulcers and intestinal ulcers, even canker sores in the mouth. And because it doesn't have the glyceratinic acid, that does not raise blood pressure. So DGL tablets, I think, are fine. As far as managing these other problems, even though licorice does a fairly good job, there are other herbs that do an even better job of managing PMS and menopause and do liver repair and reduce liver inflammation, have antioxidant effects and reduce the effects of stress on the body by acting as adaptogens. They do a better job than licorice and they don't have the side effects. They don't raise your blood pressure and cause uh, other problems. Because there are other problems with licorice. Licorice is very high in what are called coumarins. Notice how the word coumarin and the drug coumadin sound the same way. That's because coumarins also have anticoagulant effects that can lead to an internal bleeding disorder. And also coumarins, if you go out into the sun and you have coumarins in your body, the sun uh, affecting the coumarins in your skin will produce what's called photosensitivity dermatitis. You get a very bad skin rash. So I'm not crazy about using licorice. The other thing is that there's some very serious drug nutrient interactions that, can, that are related to licorice root as well. So, as I say, for topical application and the use of DGL tablets to treat ulcers and, and canker sores, I don't have a problem. If you're going to use licorice internally to treat other problems, you have to really know what you're doing. So click on the link below. You can see my short review article on uh, licorice root. It explains how to use it safely and effectively, including dosage and standardized grade, drug nutrient interactions, all of that. It's right there for you. Now, remember that at machinohealth.com. You'll see my other research review papers. You'll see footage from my live professional seminars, other downloads and resources and videos I've created. They're all there to help you lead a long, healthy, functional life. All my research re review papers and teaching materials are complete with all the scientific references. So you'll see you're getting only evidence-based information from me on any health topic that you're looking for. So you should use machinohealth.com as an ongoing, reliable resource of health and wellness information for both you and your family. Thanks so much for watching.